And now I'd like to introduce another strong and amazing woman, my dear friend Ava Cruz. Ava is the CEO and president of the Global Fashion Agenda, and together with her organization, invited all of us here to Copenhagen. Please give a warm welcome to Ava. Mm. I can hear her here, that's good. So, welcome you all. Yeah. Oh, amazing to see all your faces. And I can actually see you because the room is not too dark. I'm so happy that we're here. Thousands of man hours have gone into coming to this day. I just want to take a few minutes of your time to explain to you a little bit about why we have a two-day conference this time. So we did the summit since 2009, and every time the feedback from our participants was that they were hugely inspired, there was so much great talk, but when they went back to their jobs, every day hit them. And a lot of people came back and said, you know, we don't know how to get moving in this. Who can help us? Most of the fashion industry globally is small and medium-sized companies. And most of you probably don't have a huge sustainability department or people with that capacity in-house. So in order to try to, to take this event from talk and inspiration and knowledge sharing into action, we've decided to build it into a two-day event and to build in something very new which is called the Innovation Forum. What has shown over the years is that this has become a business imperative. And I think that's why you're all here. With the Pulse Report, we're proving the business case for sustainability. With the progress that this has made in general, companies have shown that this is actually something that improves their bottom line. And because sustainability is a business imperative, we also need to put this event into business. So the Innovation Forum is an exhibition of some of the most exciting innovations and solutions that can help your company move on. We've tried to take the priorities that we've put forward in the CEO agenda, and you'll hear more about that, and you can read it if you look into your um, goodie bags, the priorities that we've put forward that are the seven most crucial topics for any CEO to tackle these days will also be reflected both in the talks and the inspiration throughout the program, but in the innovations and the solutions that are presented in the Innovation Forum. So I really encourage you to utilize that and for you to this time use this event a little bit more organic and flowing. The summit this time because it has two days, there might be conversations that you don't find relevant. And then it's okay to get up and go out and spend some time. It's not only in the breaks that you can visit the innovations, set up meetings, meet some of those great people who can actually provide some of the solutions that will help your company move forward. So please be gentle to each other. If somebody gets up, it's okay. They can go out, come back in. It's more of a flowing event this time. And I want you to meet and interact. I mean, we, we can't move this as an industry if we don't do a collaborative effort. So this is also about you guys meeting other people. And some of them are out there. Some of them are in this room. So I think really utilize this event in a different way. That would be my, you know, my encouragement, but also be my big takeaway if you all did that. And that when you finish the summit, Wednesday evening, that you really feel that you met somebody who could help your company move forward, maybe even made new friends, but that this will actually turn this event going from inspiration, talk and talk, into action. So this was one little, this is how you do it today. I have another friend who's going to talk to you a little bit about how to utilize this event. I think he's one of the smartest people I know in this industry. He's one of the fastest talking, and he's also one of the funniest guys. Please meet also a very good friend of mine, 
design provocateur, he likes to be called, Simon Collins. Oh, hello everybody, good morning. Uh, I don't feel worthy to be here, because um, I just talk, I don't really do anything, you guys are the doers. Um, but there's a few things that drive me crazy, and I just thought I'd share them at the beginning of this great event, because they might be of some help to you. Now the first one is, it's all your fault. All the problems we're going to be addressing, all the worthy things that are going to be said are to sort things out. But the fact is, it's your fault. And if you go away thinking, well, you know, I saw a lot of worthy things, but, you know, the government will take care of them or corporations will take care of them, they're not going to. They're not. It's you. You've got to do it. You've got to say to yourself, all right, I'm going to do something about this. It's me. See, you can look at corporations, but actually they just exist to make money. They're not here to solve problems. They're here, the only problem they're trying to solve is make more money. And some of them are good and some of them are bad, but frankly, a little recycling bin in the corner of your 100,000 square foot store that's selling more stuff and you're gathering a little bit each day isn't really going to fix everything. So it's your fault. Accept that. Now if someone will go to the next slide. <laughs> it's good that we get this now, not later on when the important people are speaking. I bet half the people in the room are looking at their phones, aren't you? You're all looking at your phone going, how long is this going to take? Come on, who is this guy? Well, the thing is, right, stop. Stop looking at your phones. Stop. That's not going to solve it. You know when you, set, you wake up in the morning, you're having your coffee, and you're going through your phone going, oh, Instagram, oh, I tell you what, that's outrageous. You know, I'm going to like that. Oh, oh, I tell you what, I'm going to tweet, I stand with you. I st and here's my thoughts and prayers. Don't. Stop it. Thoughts and prayers mean, I don't care. That's what it means. I don't care. I'm sitting on my couch in my shorts eating chips. I don't really care, but I'll send you my thoughts and prayers. So stop doing it. Stop staring at your phone. Put your phone down. Next slide. <laughs> this is a big one, right? We made, I live in America. We made a big mistake in 2016. And you know what we did? I'm responsible. <laughs> I'm, I hereby humbly apologize for that mistake. Because it's my fault, as I said earlier. See, I'm a, I'm a typical whiny liberal, right? I'm, I'm like, I sit there going, oh, well, that's outrageous. That will never catch on. We'll never do that. Look at what that person just did then. That will never catch on. You don't win if you do that. You don't win. If you, if you feel even more righteous and even more correct and even more convinced you're doing the right thing, you've lost. Remember I said it's your fault? You've got to find people that you hate and you've got to make friends with them. You've got to talk to them. I remember this time last year, I walked out onto this stage at this wonderful event, and I stood here and I said, you know what, I think I'm wasting my time a little bit. Because you all already agree. All the wonderful things that are going to be said, all of you lovely people, you all agree with each other. Hands up, who doesn't believe that global warming's an issue? Well, then there's nobody to convince. The fact is, you've got to go and find people that you hate, and you've got to make friends with them. You've got to engage with them. There's no point talking to each other. You already agree with each other. Find someone you don't agree with. Find someone that, that feels this is all bullshit and get stuck in with them. Talk to them. Don't waste time with the, the Russian trolls and the bots and all that rubbish. That's just nonsense. Find real people and talk to them. Your parents, they, actually they're probably smarter than you, but find people that you don't agree with. Next slide. And, uh, <laughs> and the thing is, you might end up getting fired. I actually got fired. I've been fired many times, actually, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and that comes as no surprise. It's true as well. It's not. It's not. It, no, it is. It is. Uh, I actually got fired by a company that's in this room, and they were right. Uh, <laughs> but the thing is, you've got to stand up. You've got to stand up and say, this is what I believe. I'm going to do this. This is the right thing to do. Well, that's the wrong thing to do. I'm not going to stand for that. And you might get fired. You might, but that's all right. And if you're running a company, do something that makes you uneasy. Do something that when you look at your shareholders, you're like, eh, it's just the right thing to do. Because you do, you have to do that. Do you remember I said it's all your fault? If you run a company or you have any kind of influence and you're not doing something that makes you mildly uneasy, you're not trying hard enough. It's your fault. Is anyone recognizing my little hand gesture? This is my go to the next slide. This is the, probably the most important thing, right? Do something. Just do something. Don't, don't talk. Don't have a meeting. Don't have an idea. Don't, I've already told you about phones. Don't do that. Do something. Like, you remember I said it's your fault? Vow. When you watch this, this, like, these two days of amazing conversations, get stuck in and, and say to yourself, right, I'm going to do something. I'm actually going to engage. I'm actually going to change something that I do. It may get me fired. I may have to spend a little bit, time, little bit less time with the thing I love, which is my phone. But 
I'll actually do something. I'll make something happen. And in the spirit of that, I want you to do me a favor right now, if you would be so kind. Everybody stand up, please. Everybody in the room, stand up. Stand up, turn around, and talk to the person behind you. Say hello to them and tell them you're going to do something. All right. All right, I just said talk to them, not give them your life story. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Okay, everyone. So if you can just sit down now, let's go back to the room. Thank you very much. Okay, everybody, thank you very much. Sit down, please. Sit down. So, look, you've spoken to someone you don't know now. When you see them again, tell them what you're going to do. And if you see me, I'll be around the next two days. Tell me what you're going to do. Don't just not do anything. Don't send thoughts and prayers. Don't stand with somebody. Actually do something. So just to recap, remember, it's all... Oh, by the way, take your phones out. You're allowed to just right now and take a picture of that. Remind yourself, it's all your fault. Stop staring at your phone, apart from the photograph you're about to take. Get fired, uh, do something, and make friends with somebody that you hate. With that, I say thank you. Enjoy the conference. <laughs>